Silk was first developed in ancient China around 3500 BC. For centuries, it remained a closely guarded secret, with the Chinese maintaining a monopoly on silk production and imposing severe penalties for smuggling silkworms or their eggs. This luxurious fabric is made from the fibers of the silkworm cocoon, transformed into shimmering threads. So how is it made? The journey of silk begins with the cultivation of silkworms, specifically the species Bombyx mori. These silkworms are not found in the wild, but are bred and raised in controlled environments, called sericulture farms. The primary diet of these silkworms is mulberry leaves, which are crucial for their growth and silk production. The process begins with silkworm eggs, which are incubated until they hatch into larvae. These larvae are then fed mulberry leaves at a rate that matches their rapid growth. As the silkworms grow, they undergo several molting phases. After the final molt, the silkworms begin the process of spinning their cocoons. This is where the silk fiber originates. Each silkworm produces a single continuous filament, which can be up to 900 meters long. The cocoons are carefully collected for the next stage of silk production, ensuring they remain intact and clean, as damaged or dirty cocoons can significantly reduce the quality of the silk. The cocoons are first sorted by size, shape, and quality. This sorting is crucial as it ensures uniformity in the silk threads and the overall quality of the final fabric. The sorted cocoons are then subjected to a process called stifling, which terminates the pupa inside. This step is essential to prevent the emerging moth from breaking the silk filament. Stifling is typically done using heat or steam, which also makes the cocoons easier to unravel. The next stage is the degumming or boiling of cocoons, a process that involves soaking them in hot water. This step serves multiple purposes. It softens the sericin, the gummy substance holding the silk fibers together, and it also cleans the silk. During this process, workers gently stir the cocoons to unravel the filaments. The goal is to find the end of each filament and combine several of them to form a thread strong enough for weaving or knitting. After the filaments are unraveled and combined, the resulting raw silk threads are reeled onto spools. This reeling process is critical for maintaining the strength and consistency of the silk thread. The raw silk is then dried after which it undergoes a quality inspection. This inspection assesses the thread's uniformity, strength, color, and luster. Once the raw silk passes quality inspection, it is often twisted into a yarn. Twisting enhances the silk's strength, elasticity, and uniformity, making it suitable for various textile applications. The twisted silk may undergo additional cleaning processes to ensure that it is free from any remaining saracen or other impurities. The transformation of raw silk into fabric is a blend of tradition and modern technology. The first step in this process is dyeing. The dyeing process begins with scouring, a thorough cleaning to remove any remaining saracen and impurities. The silk is then soaked in warm water mixed with specific dyes and chemicals. The temperature and pH levels are carefully controlled to ensure even absorption of the dye. After dyeing, the silk is rinsed to remove excess dye and dried. Next is the warping process. Here, the dyed silk threads are wound onto a warp beam in a parallel and orderly fashion. This step is crucial for ensuring that the threads align correctly on the loom during weaving. The warp beam holds thousands of silk threads, each precisely measured and positioned. The meticulousness of this step is vital for the quality of the woven fabric. Weaving is the heart of silk fabric production. Depending on the desired texture and pattern, different types of looms are used. The most common is the jacquard loom, which allows for intricate patterns and designs. In weaving, the warp, vertical threads, and weft horizontal threads, interlace to form the silk fabric. The loom settings, such as tension and spacing, are adjusted based on the type of fabric being produced. The weaving process requires constant monitoring to ensure that the patterns are accurate 
and there are no thread breaks or defects. Following weaving, the silk fabric undergoes finishing processes. These can include washing, steaming, and heat setting, which helps set the fabric's shape, improve its texture, and enhance its natural luster. The fabric may also be treated with chemicals to give it additional properties, such as wrinkle resistance or water repellency. One significant aspect of silk fabric production is the creation of different textures and finishes. For instance, satin, a weave that produces a smooth, glossy surface with a dull back, is achieved by floating warp yarns over weft yarns. Another example is crepe, where highly twisted fibers create a pebbly and crinkled texture. These textures are not just aesthetic choices, but also affect the fabric's drape and feel. Silk's journey from silkworm cocoons to luxurious fabric involves meticulous processes. Cultivated silkworms feed on mulberry leaves to produce silk, which is then carefully processed, dyed, woven, and finished. Each step, from sorting cocoons to final packaging, reflects a commitment to quality, preserving silk's natural elegance and luxury. YouTube thinks you will like these videos. Why don't you have a look?